Hello, it's Jamie here. I'm here in the woods, which is very exciting. And I've got some very special woodland themed adventures for you today, some really fun videos. So we're gonna start off by getting ourselves in the mood with a tree pose. See you on the other side, bye. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Tree pose. Standing nice and tall, we bring one foot on top of the other using our heel. Our knee turns out to the side. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we grow our branches up nice and tall, stretching as high as we can. Wow, well done everyone. Now tree pose is really good for stretching our sides, practicing our balance and for strengthening our back and our legs. Well done. Now let's see if we can do it on the other side. Lowering our arms all the way down, we switch our feet so the other heel's on top. We bring our hands together, we grow our arms up, our branches nice and tall. Now I wonder how strong you trees are. I'm going to do the tree test. You stay tall and strong and I'm going to come and blow you down. Let's see, here we go. Doopy doopy doo. -dee -doo. <sighs> Strong trees, you're amazing, just as strong as real trees. Oh, whoops a daisy. Oh, even the real trees have to practice sometimes. Tree pose. So how did you get on? Did I blow you over? I'm sure I didn't. You're far too strong for that. Well, now we've got a really exciting little adventure, a yoga adventure called Stella the Stick Insect. And it's set right here in the woods. Oh, I hope you love it and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's have a little look through our cosminoculars, thumbs and fingers together, and see what our adventure is about today. Have a look through. <gasps> wow! Can you see that? That looks amazing! All those colours! Those shapes! Cool! Ooh, can you see it? It's getting clearer! Oh! It's a stick! Just a stick! Oh no, hang on! It's a sting insect! It's Stella the stick insect! She's doing yoga! She's doing eagle pose! Wow, this is great! We're off to the park today to go and find Stella the stick insect! Let's begin our story lying in our beds. Lying all the way down, make your body nice and long and relaxed. And we're going to pretend that it's a Saturday morning. Ah, bliss. We wake up and we stretch our arms and our legs. Oh. We come up to sit, crossing our legs and stretch again. Oh. Then we stand up and we fold all the way forwards, reaching our arms forwards to draw the curtains. Oh, it's a bit rainy today. Let's have a shower in the rain. Standing up, we pitter-patter all over our heads, that rain, all over our bodies and our arms, all over our tummies and our legs. Oh dear, we're getting a bit wet in this rain, so we rub ourselves dry using our hands. That's better time to go downstairs and have some breakfast. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. We sit down with our legs crossed and we reach up to get the biggest pot. 
bringing it all the way down in front of us. Now we're going to make some porridge. So we take our hand across to our knee and twist around to get our porridge oats. Here they are. Let's shake them in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Take your other hand across to your other knee and twist the other way. This time we need to get some milk. So we get our milk and we pour it in the pot. There we go. Now we need to stir it. So we take our legs out wide and we take hold of our stirring stick and we stir it, stir it stir it. We put that stirring stick down and we take our other stirring stick and we stir the other way. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Oh, it's ready. We cross our legs, we fold forwards keeping our bottoms planted on the floor and then we eat up our porridge. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. We sit up nice and tall and we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Oh, so, so clever. It's time to go. So we come up to two knees, we take our arms out wide and we give everyone at home a great big hug. Bye. Time to open up the door. We take our leg out to the side, our arm up to the sky and we fold down to the side. Opening the door. Then we close it behind us, two knees together, leg out to the other side, arm up to the sky and close the door. Ooh. Time to get on our bicycles. We lie on our backs and we crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lifting up our legs. Then we have to pedal really slowly as we go up the hill. Oh, it's quite hard. Oh, now we're going down the hill. So we go really, really fast. <laughs> we arrive at the park. Let's go on the swings. We stand up and we bend our knees. We reach our arms up high. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! And up. And again. One, two, three. Whee! And up. This is great, but shall we go on the slide? Yeah, come on. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take your hands behind you, point your fingers in towards your bottom. Ready to go on the slide, ready? That was brilliant fun. Now, we see a little lake. Drawing the soles of your feet together, make a big diamond shape with your legs. On this lake, there is a tiny little boat. Turning yourself around, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands, and give me a wave. Hi! We row this little boat across the lake, legs out long, take hold of your oar and row. Let's sing our row, row, row your boat song, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone. Should we, should we answer it? Hello? Oh, there's going to be a bug ball tonight. Ooh, we're invited. Mm, yes, we'd love to come. OK, yeah, see you in a minute. Bye. We put the phone down and we row with the other oar. Picking it up, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. What's the phone again? Can we answer this one? Hello? It's Stella the stick insect. Hi, Stella. Oh, you're in a bit of a pickle. Oh, all right then. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah, we'll help. Righto. OK, bye. We put the phone down. Poor Stella, she's in a bit of a pickle. When we get to the banks of the lake, we take big squadgy mud walks. Standing up, coming to the side, ready for a big squadgy walk. Squadge! And back. And again. Squadge! We come to a clearing. This must be where the ball's happening. We find all of the bees tuning up. Crossing your legs, take your fingers and see if you can close your ears and go... Mm, like 
like a bee tuning up to play its musical instrument tonight. All around, we can see beautiful butterflies. They're going to be doing the decorations for tonight. Drawing the soles of your feet together, hold onto your toes and flutter your butterfly wings. There are also lots of rather wonderful caterpillars wiggling around. Coming onto your bellies, everybody. Hands underneath your shoulders, point your toes back. Oh, yes. I'm just trying out all of the leaves to check that they're going to be tasty for tonight. Mmm, these are really good. Mmm. Oh, it's good we've got the caterpillars doing the catering. Next, we see the grasshoppers in the hopper hair salon having their wings trimmed and highlighted. Laying all the way down on your belly, take your arms out wide, bend up one foot and press it to the sky. Then see if you can use your other foot to hoist it up. Yeah, Sharon, I was just saying, that Stella the stick insect, she's in a bit of a flap at the moment. <gasps> we hear this and we wonder where Stella is. Swapping your legs all the way over now, lift up your other foot, press it to the sky and hoist it up. Oh yeah, Stella, she's over on that broken branch. Go see her. <gasps> we put our foot down and we roll over onto our backs. We take our arms out wide and we lift up our legs. Then we take our legs over to one side and our head over to the other, making a broken branch. We look all over this broken branch trying to find where Stella is. Where is she? See if you can take your legs up and over to the other side now and take your head round to the other side. All of a sudden, we hear a... <laughs> we sit up. And we look really carefully and sure enough we can see her but it's very hard to see Stella when she's sitting on a branch because she looks a bit like a branch but now she's crying we can hear her there she is poor Stella coming up onto two knees take your leg out to the side and take your arm down to the side beside you reach up with your top arm up and over your ear coming into your stick insect pose <laughs> There's no point in me going to the ball because nobody can see me. I'm always camouflaged by everything. Coming to your knees. Oh, Stella, when you go to a party, you should wear really nice bright party clothes. Then everyone will see you. Stella thinks this is a great idea, but we need to do a bit of a wash. So we cross our legs and we bring our hands back behind our heads and we wash Stella's best party clothes. Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, wisha, woo! Then we dry them in our special tumble dryer, bringing your fingers in front of your mouth and blow. Now Stella pops them on and shows them off. Coming up to two knees, arms out wide, drop down onto the other side, take your leg out to the side and stretch your top arm up and over your ear. Oh, I feel all right now. Shall we go? Yes, and there is only one way to arrive at the bug ball and that is in style, in a lady bug limo. Coming to your knees, Fold all the way forwards. Now, crisscross your fingers and rest them on the base of your back. Now lift and lower your elbows like a little ladybird. We arrive at the party. Sitting up. It's in full swing. Everybody's dancing. Stella stands and stiffens up. Um, the problem is I'm really good at copying everybody else because I'm a stick insect. But I'm not very good at dancing, just being myself, being natural. Oh, Stella, you'll be fine. Go on, go and have fun. You'll find your groove. But sure enough, Stella's not very good at just dancing as herself. She just copies everyone else. First, she copies the termites doing the twist. Jump your feet wide and twist. Then 
she copies the caterpillars doing the caterpillar dance. Coming down onto hands and knees, press up into your dog pose. Come down to your knees, drop down to your belly, roll your shoulders up like a caterpillar. Try it again, come back to your knees, tuck your toes, up to your dog, back to your knees, down to your belly and up like a caterpillar. Then she copies the beetles. They're on their backs doing some beatbox dancing. Coming up onto your bottoms, lying down on your back. Now, reach up and see if you can grab your feet. The beetles are having a great time wiggling around, doing their beatbox. Stella is very good at copying them all. Yes, she would be so good if she could just dance naturally, be herself, find her own way of tuning into the music. We decide to have a little rest and have a drink. We have some firefly fizz. Now we make a straw with our tongues curling up the sides like this. And we take a big suck in. Mmm, delicious. Now, if you can't do that curling up with the sides thing, do this instead. Mmm, <sighs> so refreshing and cool in our mouths. <gasps> All of a sudden, landing in front of us is a fairy god praying mantis. Coming up into a squat position, everyone. Sitting right the way back on your heels, taking your elbows inside your legs, joining your hands together like a fairy god praying mantis. Dearest Stella, wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others, let your light shine through. And with that, the fairy god praying mantis launches itself into the night. Ready for a jump? One, two, three, Whee! Oh my goodness me, that was awesome. And it seems to have really spoken to Stella. She feels ready to show what she can do. She comes to the dance floor, takes her position, takes her leg out to the side and her stick insect arm to the ground. Then she waves her antennae around and around. And she puts her leg forward and bows to the ground. She comes on up to the other side, arms up wide down to the ground and leg up and long. She waves it around and around and around before she puts her leg front and to the ground. Stella is amazing when she dances and she's herself. She's captivating. Her confidence radiates. It's wonderful to see. Here comes Steve the spider, standing up, legs a little bit wider, bend your knees and make your fingers like spiders. Then bring them inside your feet, take them around the back and round the side and sit down. Um, I wondered, um, Stella, <clears throat> he's a bit shy. Um, could I, uh, could I ask, can I dance with you, Stella? Stella comes to her knees. She opens her arms wide and she beams Steve her biggest stick insect smile, giving him a great big hug. Oh, yes, Steve, let's dance the night away. We'd better leave these two love bugs alone. So we sit back and we blow them a kiss. We hop on the back of the ladybug limo, folding all the way down, crisscrossing our fingers at the base of our spine and lifting and lowering our elbows like ladybug winds. Then we find our bicycles back at the park, lying on our backs. We crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lift our legs to the sky and we pedal slowly first up the hill. Ooh, it's quite hard. And then, oh, really fast as we go down the hill. Wow, look everyone, it's really dark. So we stand up and we tiptoe, 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 inside, back in 
into our bedrooms where we lie down. Ah, oh, blissfully in our beds. Oh, that feels nice. All snuggled up and comfy and cosy lying in our beds. As we lie down, we remember the words of the fairy god praying mantis. Wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others, let your light shine through. As we remember these words, these wise words, we think about the light inside of us. What colour is your light? Maybe you can close your eyes and see it now. As we feel that light inside of us, we know that when we are just being ourselves, that light shines brightly. It fills us with warmth. And wherever we go, we need never be afraid of what people think because we are just being completely ourselves. Feeling that light inside you now, let's bring ourselves back, breathing into it. Wiggling our fingers and our toes. We give our knees a hug and we roll onto our sides, slowly coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to see Stella the Stick Insect with me and for coming to the Bug Ball. That was great fun. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. <whistles> Hello. Oh, wasn't that lovely? Stella the Stick Insect, learning how to let our inner light shine. It's a really, really good message. I found a very special place. It's called the Fairy Way. And right here at the entrance is a sign. And the sign says, make a wish. So I'm going to make a wish right now by putting my hand on the special hand sign. I'm going to close my eyes and make a wish. There. Now, shall we go and have a look in the fairy way? Up there, where the toadstools are. Come on, let's go. And I've spotted some special little doors here. I wonder whether a fairy might live there. Maybe they're all asleep, so we have to be very quiet. I can see a unicorn. Yeah, it's definitely a fairy's house. Come on, let's go a bit further, see what else we can see. Hello? Is anybody home? can hear them. They sound like they're making something nice. Oh, I can smell delicious smells. They must be making fairy cakes. Mmm. Hello, little fairy. Lovely to see you. Hello. Well, I found another little fairy house here. This one's got some swings out the front, which is quite nice. And there looks to be a ladybird on the swings right now, which is a lovely thing. So I think that the fairies must be inside 
having a nice time, probably playing some games, because I think that's what fairies usually do. But um, maybe they'll be coming out later for a little fly and we'll be able to see them. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Hi, fairies. You look amazing in there. <laughs> this little baby dragon up here. He looks like he's just having some chilling out time, hanging out in the branch. You okay? Yeah? Ah, oh, you look like you're having a nice rest. Enjoying your tree. Wow, how amazing. Little fairy dragon. It's a little raccoon slash bear slash squirrel. Just on the swing. Having a nice time. Yeah. Okay, bye. Sometimes the places we can go in our mind are really magical and they can be as magical as places we find in real life sometimes just like here in the fairy way. So now we've got a really lovely video called Magic Treehouse where you're going to your very own magic treehouse in your mind. Maybe it'll look a little bit like these ones that we've been finding here. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you afterwards. Peace out. Magic Treehouse Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to enjoy a special story in our imagination. And you are in this story. First, very importantly, find a spot to lie back or sit down and make yourself as comfy as can be. Now to make your body all floppy. A really fun way to do this is to pretend you're a marshmallow person. That's right, like you are made of marshmallows. Soft, squishy arms and legs. A body like a pillow and a squishy, squashy, marshmallow soft head. That's it. Super soft and gooey. Well done. Now you're as soft as a melted marshmallow. Keep your eyes open and take a few big, deep breaths. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Can you do two more? Wonderful! And on your next big breath out, let your eyes close. Ah, oh, that's it. Now you've made yourself as relaxed as can be, your mind can play and take you on a really fun journey as you hear the words. Ready? Okay then, let's begin. You are standing in a beautiful garden. There are flowers everywhere. There are all sorts of colours. Yellow flowers, blue petals, green stems. Everywhere you look, you notice their bright colours. They are all different sizes too. 
Some have tall, skinny stalks with big red heads. Others are small, tiny flowers, all bunched together in a clump. You breathe in and smell their sweet scent. These flowers smell lovely. It's a warm summer's day. The air feels warm on your skin. You can hear a few birds whistling in the trees, singing and tweeting. Some sounds are far away. Others are closer to you. You start to walk through your garden along some round stepping stones that make a winding path down into the very back of the garden. The flowers line the sides of the path and you take in their colours and smells along the way. Right at the end of the path is a big tree. The trunk is so wide, you'd have to make your arms as wide as they go to reach the sides of it. You see there is a ladder made of rope and wooden steps dangling down the trunk. Hmm, this looks fun, you think? Where will it lead? You step up onto the first wooden step of the ladder and carefully you start to climb up. When you reach the top, a big branch makes a pathway leading you to a front door. This is a house. It's a tree house. Like a real house, but in a tree. Who lives in there, you wonder? You turn the doorknob to open the door. Inside is a lovely big room with pictures on the walls, squishy cushions on the floor and a big armchair. What a cosy place this is. Sitting in the armchair is someone you know and love. You decide who this is, as they are very special to you. They are smiling and very happy to see you. This person makes you feel very safe and happy. After giving them a big hug, you sit by them on the soft, squishy cushions. You take a moment, enjoying being here, and then you think of something. A question you have, or something you've been wondering about. Anything you like. This is a person you can ask anything, share anything. You know they love you and will understand and be happy to help you. As you ask or tell them what it is you wish to say, they listen to you very carefully, smiling kindly, nodding gently, and hearing your words. They understand exactly what you are trying to say. It feels so good to share your thought and be understood. To have time to think and be listened to. When you have finished asking them your question or telling them your thought, maybe they say something back to you. Whatever they say makes you feel good about yourself. You understand better now and feel glad for having shared, 
been listened to and understood. Talking to this person has been fun and helpful to you. They smile at you and you smile back. This is your magic tree house and you can come back here and see your special person whenever you need. Now you know how much it helps to talk about things. You decide that next time something is on your mind, it'll be a good thing to share it with someone you love and feel safe with. Feeling happy about having this special place, you say goodbye. You walk out, close the door behind you. Return back down the big branch pathway and climb carefully down the ladder into the beautiful garden. As you stand there, the flowers all around in the warm sunshine, you take a moment to notice how you feel. And you sigh. feeling peaceful. Now we return. See if you can notice how your body feels sitting on a chair or how the floor feels beneath you. Can you hear any other sounds around you? You take a big deep breath and sigh out from your mouth. Have a stretch if you like and slowly open your eyes. Now for just a moment, think about how you feel after that. Do you feel different to how you did before? Sleepy maybe? Or maybe you wanted to stay a bit longer in the magic tree house? Maybe your mind was kind of busy when you were listening and you were thinking of some other things. That's okay. What's great is that you are learning how your mind works. And knowing your mind better will help you be the best you can be. And most importantly, have a very happy life. That's a good thing, don't you think? Well done you for listening and finding your very own superpower right there in your mind. This is Jamie saying peace out. So I hope you had a lovely time in the woods with me today, with all the fun and games we've had, with our tree pose, Stella the Stick Insect and Magic Tree House. It's been wonderful to spend this time in the woods with you and I hope to see you again soon.